Hey guys, we're just going to go over the basic settings of your awesome new line board. Um, so we're just going to kind of work left to right across the board. If you have any questions about anything that we've gone over, please put in a help ticket, uh, help desk ticket, and we will come out as soon as possible. Uh, first thing we'll start with is your clock. If you hold it down for a couple seconds, it'll bring you up to a new screen. Um, and then the top left, you've got four options. Your first one is alarms. So if you have different activities throughout the day or when the bell is going to ring at the secondary level, you've got some options. You can go ahead and set those alarms. The second one is your clock. It just takes up the whole screen. Third option is a timer. So you can set it for a minute or however long you're going. Hit play. It goes through and then blast off or whatever. Uh, and then the last part is a stopwatch. So um, if you're timing your students for whatever reason. So that's that. Um, and then every time we go into a new piece of the app, there's always in this blue, it's kind of like global navigation for Canvas. Um, it's always going to follow you. You can hit home and go back to our home screen. All right, so in the settings, the gear at the top, we yours looks a little bit different, but we have two things we want to touch on. First is your power on off setting. You want to make sure your energy saving is set to a time like never or a really long time away. That way it doesn't black out in the middle of your lesson. Also, you want to go to your whiteboard and you have two choices. One is classic, that's my favorite, or you can go to new version, which is the default on your board. You choose, it's up to you. We'll go over some different features. All right, and then back to the start screen. So every time you go home or close out of something, it's gonna bring you back here. Um, first thing we're talking about is screen sharing. This is gonna be the capability of from your computer. Uh, we highly recommend you use the Display Note app, uh, which is what that was waiting on there for a second. Um, so Display Note app, we'll put a, a link down there for you guys to be able to get that downloaded. Um, it works a lot better than this option here of the displaynote.com slash join. However, that is another way to join into Screencast. It'll cast from your computer whatever you have showing onto this board. Um, and there is an ability to use the touch capabilities that you have on your computer if you need that as well. Uh, and we're going to do a settings explanation of that. All right, once you've got the Display Note app downloaded onto your computer, uh, whatever that process looks like for you, just follow the prompts. It's allowed onto the computer. Uh, once you open up that app, this should be very similar to what your start screen should look like. Um, and then from there, the information that's up on the display board, you enter the six IDs the, or the 10 digit, should be a six. If it's a 10, let us know. Um, put your name, Miss Rennick White, Miss Wood, whatever that looks like, and then hit connect. Now, in order to enable the touch ability though, so if you're doing something in Seesaw that you're casting from your computer, just as an example, uh, that you're gonna need the students to manipulate what's on the board. To take care of that, down here in settings, you're gonna click into that, and it's under the first option of streaming, and there should be an, an empty check mark box, and that's that touchback control. You simply click that to turn on, should have a check mark in there now, and hit okay, and then go back to that process of entering your uh, six digit number, your name and connecting to the board. All right, so for the whiteboard, you can click here or you can go on your menu that's on the side and you can click the little pen that's been underlined. So that will pull up your whiteboard. Like I said, this is the new whiteboard. It's the default that comes with your new line board. A couple cool things. So you can change it under Canvas to split so that two people can have their own screen at the same time. Also, you can clear it out or you can save it as is. And then to get out of the split screen, there's three dots at the top. You can either add a third screen or go ahead and exit back to normal mode. Other cool thing about the new whiteboard setting is right here, you can add in your Google Drive so that any documents you have in your Google Drive will actually show up on your board and you can mess with them, play with them, write on them. Um, also works for Google Slides, any pictures that you have in your drive as well. Um, your browser is going to be your computer that's actually in the board. So it allows you to go to Google, and we do have Chrome 
on your new line board. So that's the browser that you will use. You can sign into your Google and then use your waffle to get to Canvas. You can also go to Seesaw and if you sign in with Google through Seesaw, then you can also play with Seesaw on your board. I know Starfall is also a big one. YouTube, a lot of different ways. And again, it's just like an internet browser, but be careful how many tabs you have open. So if you have about eight or nine tabs, it will start running ridiculously slow. So be mindful of what tabs you have open. Yep. Also those tabs, if you do keep them open and you hit home, next time you pull a browser, those will remain. So if you have kind of those go-to tabs that you like to use, Canvas, woo -woo, uh, Google, those things, you can go ahead and get to them the first time and then leave them open, you'll be able to access them. And then as always, to get back to that start screen, just hit that home button out of your menu. Notice there's one on each side. So whatever side you're on at the board, you're not having to Vanna White it back and forth. Also in the browser, if there's something on your screen that you want to circle, highlight, this very top, it looks like a computer screen with a pen writing on it. If you click that, if you click that, then the red X should come up and that should tell you that your screen is ready to be written on. So if I need to circle our vocabulary of the day, if I need to make a note that this is where your homework is, if I need you to click right here, I can do that. Or if I need to highlight something, and then just like with your whiteboard, you want to clear it out, you can hit the broom or you can hit the eraser.